Welcome to the American AVK Series 24 Wet Barrel Fire Hydrants Overview Module. In this module, you'll learn all about the AVK Series 24 Wet Barrel Fire Hydrants, including history, function, standards compliance and testing, construction features, and product range. American AVK was incorporated in the United States in 1985 and primarily sold AVK gate valves in the North American water distribution market. But AVK soon realized that to be competitive, they needed a fire hydrant to package with the gate valves. So in the early 1990s, AVK began manufacturing the Series 24 wet barrel and Series 27 dry barrel fire hydrants. This module will focus on the wet barrel fire hydrant. Wet barrel fire hydrants are installed in non-freezing climates, whereas dry barrel fire hydrants are typically installed in freezing climates. AVK manufactures three types of wet barrel fire hydrants, ductile iron, bronze, and stainless steel. Here's a cutaway of a Series 24 ductile iron wet barrel fire hydrant. Looking at the stem from left to right, you can see the dummy nut, the stem nut, the stem, the thrust nut, the valve disc, the nozzle, and the nozzle cap. This cutaway has one pumper nozzle and two hose nozzles. So what's a fire hydrant used for? The primary and by far most important function of a fire hydrant is to provide a source of water in order to fight fires. But fire hydrants also serve other purposes, like flushing water lines, filling water trucks, especially at construction sites, and occasionally serving as a construction bypass. AVK wet barrel fire hydrants are fully compliant with the requirements of AWWA standard C503. In fact, AVK hydrants exceed industry standards in regard to flow characteristics and durability. Our hydrants are also listed by underwriters labs and approved by Factory Mutual where applicable. Finally, all AVK fire hydrants are certified to NSF-61 for health effects and NSF-372 for the low lead requirements of the Safe Drinking Water Act. Be assured that product quality and safety are our main concerns throughout the design and manufacturing process. All AVK fire hydrants are tested extensively. During production testing, the fire hydrant is shell tested and seat tested to twice the rated pressure as required by AWWA C503. In addition, we have completed proof of design testing, a shell test of four times the rated pressure per UL requirements, traffic impact testing, and flow testing. So what are the construction features of the AVK Series 24 wet barrel fire hydrant? Let's start with the nozzle section. The nozzle sections of the Series 24 hydrant are available in ductile iron as standard, stainless steel, and bronze. Ductile iron for lower cost, stainless steel and bronze for coastal areas where high rates of corrosion can occur due to salt mist in the air. The stem nut and the stem are both a low zinc, low lead bronze, which is resistant to dezincification and safe for drinking water. The stem also has the hydrant's serial number engraved on it. This unique number indicates the date of manufacture, testing results, construction materials, and shipping information for full traceability to allow for the industry's quickest and most comprehensive customer service. The stem also has gray iron dummy nuts to protect the bronze stem from non-standard wrenches. In the unlikely event the dummy nut does get damaged, it's easier and less expensive to replace than the bronze stem. Another important feature of the AVK hydrant is the newly designed one-piece valve disc. The new design ensures that high-velocity water flowing past the valve disc will not damage the rubber. The valve disc is a bronze core encapsulated in NBR. The NBR is very durable, with a very good memory to maintain its shape if debris is caught in the rubber surface. It has a shore hardness of 90. NBR is also resistant to the oils and greases used by fire hydrant maintenance companies. 
The thrust nut and thrust collars of the valve disc assembly are stainless steel, which work with the bronze stem to smoothly operate the hydrant. The seals and gaskets of the wet barrel fire hydrant are NBR, which resists attacks from volatile organic compounds found in common lubricants. The cap gaskets are scalloped, as required by AWWA C503, to allow air and water to vent, and to prevent pressure buildup as the hydrant is opened or closed. The S24 hydrants use a threaded-in nozzle design, which works better with the AVK Series 24 valve system. AVK stainless steel wet barrel fire hydrants use the bayonet-style nozzle. The nozzles are bronze, as standard, the Series 24 wet barrel fire hydrant can be equipped with a check valve called the Flow Guard 2. The check valve prevents flow out of the water system in case the hydrant is knocked off in an accident. Occasionally, you'll see water jetting up from a wet barrel fire hydrant that's been knocked over, and it creates quite a fountain. But this won't happen with a wet barrel fire hydrant equipped with a Flow Guard 2. If a flow guard 2 is installed, there will only be two small jets of water spraying out of the hydrant to indicate that the hydrant has been damaged. The check valve is also bidirectional. It prevents contamination or cross connections of the distribution system. AVK is the only manufacturer that produces a check valve that can do this. It's also important to note that the Flow Guard 2 has been designed so that it will work with all manufacturers' wet barrel fire hydrants. The internal and the external coatings of the ductile iron nozzle section are fusion bonded epoxy for good corrosion protection. Epoxy provides a smooth lining on the interior for lower head loss. The coating complies with AWWA standard C550, which covers protective interior coatings for valves and hydrants. This coating ensures protection and longevity of the ductile iron castings. The external coating has an additional polyurethane layer to provide the correct color required by the customer and to provide additional corrosion protection. AVK supplies a hydrant wrench that is used to operate the wet barrel fire hydrant or to remove the stem nut during maintenance. AVK can also supply a heavy duty nozzle wrench to remove screwed in nozzles be sure to remove the nozzle set screw first. The product range of the Series 24 fire hydrant is quite broad, but keep in mind that not all options are available with all hydrant types. The nozzle section, nozzle caps, and dummy nuts can be any color or combination of colors for any water utilities requirements. We can even paint the bronze and stainless steel hydrants if that's what our customers require. The nozzle sections of the Series 24 hydrant are available in ductile iron, which is UL and FM listed, stainless steel, which is only listed by UL, FM does not include stainless steel in their standard, and bronze, which is not included in the UL or FM standards. Pressure ratings vary depending on the material and classification. The older design of ductile iron hydrants were rated for 200 PSI, according to UL and AWWA. The new design of ductile iron hydrant is rated to 350 PSI for AWWA applications and 250 PSI for UL and FM. Stainless steel and bronze are still rated for 200 PSI. The inlet drilling can be an AWWA C503 6-hole, an ANSI Class 150 flange 8-hole pattern, or the San Diego drilling pattern, which is also 6-hole. The nozzle configurations AVK offers are a 1-pumper 2-hose pattern, a 2-pumper 1-hose pattern, and a 1-pumper 1-hose pattern. The pumper nozzles can be 4 or 4.5 4 inch. The hose nozzles are 2.5 inch. AVK offers many different thread types, including stores nozzles for 2.5 inch hose and 4 inch or 5 inch pumper. The dummy nuts are pentagon shaped. They're gray iron and are 1 and an eighth inch, 1 and a quarter inch, 1 and a half inch, or 1 and 3 quarters inch measured from flat to point. The nozzle caps are gray iron as standard, but are available in bronze for the bronze hydrant and plastic. For bolting, AVK will supply zinc-plated steel, 
304 stainless steel or 316 stainless steel, according to the customer's specifications. The O-rings are NBR. The cap gaskets are neoprene rubber. The nozzle retainer screws and thrust collars are 304 stainless steel, and the cap chains are zinc-plated steel. We provide traffic repair kits in case the hydrant is knocked over, and a hydrant check valve, called the flow guard 2, which prevents possible contamination or cross-connections of the distribution system. The flow guard 2 is also equipped with a breakable flange for traffic installations. Congratulations! You've completed the American AVK Series 24 Wet Barrel Fire Hydrants Overview Module. Now that you've completed this training, let's review the highlights of the module. In this module, you learned that AVK developed the wet barrel fire hydrants in the early 1990s. Wet barrel fire hydrants are used in non-freezing climates. The primary and by far most important function of a fire hydrant is to provide access to water in order to fight fires, but fire hydrants serve other purposes as well. AVK fire hydrants are fully compliant with the requirements of AWWA Standard C503 for wet barrel fire hydrants. Our hydrants are listed by Underwriters Labs and approved by Factory Mutual where applicable and they comply with NSF-61 for safe drinking water and NSF-372 for low lead. We have completed proof of design testing, seat testing, shell testing, traffic impact testing, and flow testing. There are many important fire hydrant construction features. Everything from the dummy nuts to the nozzle caps are designed to make AVK hydrants corrosion resistant long-lasting, and easier to install, maintain, and repair. The unique serial number on the pumper stem of the hydrant allows AVK to track the date of manufacture, testing results, construction materials, and shipping information to allow for the industry's quickest and most comprehensive customer service. The product range of the Series 24 fire hydrant is quite broad, the Series 24 can be configured with a one-pumper, two-hose pattern, a two-pumper, one-hose pattern, or a one-pumper, one-hose pattern. We offer traffic repair kits and hydrant check valves. Congratulations! You've completed this module.